I recently got activated on the Instacart shopper platform as a full service shopper here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And in this video, I wanna do really a walkthrough of the shopper app if you're new, if you're considering signing up as a full service shopper. And I do wanna highlight something new that I noticed yesterday on the actual shopper app here, especially ratings as well, how Instacart really prioritizes ratings. And I also wanna go over a demo order with you in this video. Now to start, we're assuming you've been activated as a full service shopper. There's actually two different roles that you can pick from when you apply. So turning our attention to the shopper app here, looking at the dashboard, this is your home screen. So starting from the top down here, we have the profile information, your name, of course, your profile picture. And if you actually clicked on that, you'll get the profile information. Continuing down from that, actually, this is something new here. It says tap to start shopping. I'm going to go over that, uh, the changes in a little bit here. But below that, we have some general messaging. Now, if you're new, I would pay attention to this because you may need to complete certain tutorials to deliver, we can see here, alcohol or prescriptions. So that new feature of going online, again, it says tap to start shopping. Now, I really noticed this yesterday at the time of filming this video. So let me know down below in the comments if you're activated, if you see this as well. But what it used to show is just simply available batches, the shops that you're going to be completing, of course, and it just said new batches are available. So now it's telling us this. There's an actual go online button. It says go online to start seeing batches. You'll be available to see stores and available batches in your area so you can decide where you want to shop. And then continuing, we have the go offline button. It says go offline to take a break or finish shopping for that day. To stop seeing notifications, make sure you go offline when you're taking a break or finished shopping for that day. Now, this is important because now there's an actual go online and go offline when prior it was just basically online all the time. It would just show you any available batches. So continuing through that, this is also a new screen here. So now, of course, we see that go online button and we see our marketplace and then we can see partner stores on the Instacart platform. Okay, so now we're online. Currently it says no batches available. It says come back later, but let's zoom in here. We can actually see the individual stores on the Instacart platform. So I'm curious to know, let me know down below in the comments for this as well, but we can see the partner stores on the Instacart platform. I'm wondering if vicinity has anything to do with how you're seeing batches and ultimately how Instacart assigns these batches. Now, I will say one thing that Instacart actually does really heavily weigh when assigning those batches and choosing a driver is the driver rating. So this is officially from Instacart. This is from their website. And this is interesting because I'm not seeing a lot of gig apps really weighing the driver, or in this case, the shopper rating as heavily as Instacart. So it reads here, shoppers are offered batches based on the average customer star rating, starting with the highest rated shoppers. By prioritizing batches in this way, we're celebrating high quality service shoppers who give great customer experiences. So this is interesting that Instacart is also heavily favoring the customer service for you as a shopper. So again, the higher the rating, the more you'll be prioritized. Now, if you are new, don't worry, you get 30 shops and you don't have to worry about your rating within that threshold. So let's take a look at the actual ratings tab here on in the Instacart Shopper app. So we can see here again, I'm new and we can see this average is a rolling average based on your last 100 orders. And there's other things like customer feedback here, but I really want to scroll down and look at these ratings and cancellations as well. So here's the shopper summary. That cancellation rate is very important. It's honestly one of the most important metrics on most any gig app. So for Instacart, it reads the cancellation rate is calculated from your last 100 batches. Again, for new shoppers, your first 30 batches are not included in your rate. So further down, how your ratings work in your average rating. When an order is completed, customers can rate you on a service from a scale of one to five stars, five being the best. Your shopper rating is the average from the ratings of your last 100 orders. Your lowest rating is automatically forgiven as well as any ratings below five for specific factors such as extreme weather and app outages. Now that is also similar to other just gig apps. They typically have a similar policy here, just taking off lower star ratings for things out of your control. 
And then below that, access to batches. And I didn't even know this until I was really combing through this. So if you're new, or again, if you're considering signing up, this is very important. So it says access to batches, the shops, right? And it says your rating is compared to other shoppers in your area. Shoppers with a higher average rating may see batches before other shoppers. So it seems like if there's any app that is really leveraging your shopper rating, I mean, this is more than shipped. This is more than food delivery apps. This is frankly more than even rideshare apps. I would say out of most every gig app, it seems like Instacart is putting the most weight on this shopper rating. Okay, that is definitely not all because remember that cancellation rates and let's look at why it is so important. So cancellation rate, canceling a batch impacts your cancellation rate, which is calculated again, seems like the common thread here, out of your last 100 batches. Each time you cancel a batch, your cancellation rate increases. If your cancellation rate is higher than 15% and you continue to cancel batches, you may be at risk for deactivation. That's also pretty similar for most of the gig apps. They have a cancellation rate threshold. So your acceptance rate for this case, for Instacart, you see prospective batches, you see things that don't make sense for whatever reason, you can ignore those, of course. You have that freedom as an independent contractor. But we can see here, and again, this is most every app in the gig economy. If you accept an assignment, you really can't cancel it at least 15% is the threshold or you can be deactivated. Now for me, I always reserve my cancellations really on every app here. You do not want to be deactivated. The appeals process for these apps really doesn't favor the driver. So again, it really has to be an emergency or some kind of fringe case business strategy to reserve those cancellations. I also wanted to show you this screen here, just generally how to get access to more batches as well. No, absolutely do this. This is a no brainer. It's really, again, it's getting access to more batches here. So we can see here, I completed them all, but I want to highlight these. It's number one, it's activating your physical card. That's a must. Of course, you need that card to complete really your basic batches. Number two on your dashboard is to complete that, the tutorial, that kind of mini training to complete the alcohol deliveries. Number three, this may be a little bit more niche, but I would absolutely do it. It's uploading a picture of a cooler bag. Now we can see it says shop higher paying batches from stores like Costco. Again, let, give me some feedback down below in the comments. If you've had those larger orders from Costco, maybe at Sam's Club, let me know if that's worth it. But I have a catering bag and I do have bags, different types linked down below in my Amazon storefront. But I just took that catering bag. I submitted a picture. It was like two angles, I believe to Instacart and then they approved me for this. And then lastly, like mentioned prior, it's another mini tutorial here, or training on a delivering prescriptions and there's a mini quiz at the end of that. Pass that and you'll get access to these batches. So I wanna go over that demo order from Instacart here just so you can get an idea of what to expect in your first batch. Now, if you wanna see my first actual live batch in the field, I'll leave a card linked above. So here's our perspective order screen. Now this does look different. Remember the new go online button. So it seems like it's gonna show like a lot of other gig apps. It's gonna show a prospective order with a countdown timer versus again, really just a week ago, we just listed all of the available shops here. But this one for Sprouts Farmer's Market, we can see we have one order waiting and we see the customer name and then the item count here. So let's click on accept order. Okay, so here is our to-do list for our grocery items. Now I've done shipped as well. That's also a grocery kind of daily essential on demand service where you're going to be a shopper here. So just comparing with shipped and really just doing one batch so far on Instacart as a new shopper here, I do like how these are broken down by category. What I would recommend as a shopper is really to be strategic with a route in the grocery store. Now I just, let's say target the produce all at once, right? You're in the produce section, might as well just knock them all out. And then if you can go by aisle or at least the category listed here. So actually let's click on one of these because when we click on one of these, we'll get some more information, including that item's location in the grocery store. So if we do have an item that we're shopping for, we found it, let's click on this item here. In this case, the surf suites. If we click on found item, you'll see here, it brings up a barcode scanner. Now, of course, we're not in the grocery store here, but very easy. You just scan the barcode and it'll mark it as complete. 
Now what I can show you in this demo order is the produce items. So for instance, we can see here the large navel oranges. Now we can see here it's also asking us just to match the requested weight. So as we can see here, the weight requested 0.65 pounds. So we'll just say we're weighing the items and it's 0.7 pounds. Instacart actually does say don't waste time trying to get the exact weight. You do obviously want to get as close as you can, but don't take too much time with that weight. And then we can see here after pulling those items, it's moved from the to-do list to done. So I think that's a good general breakdown of how to do a shop, just some of the basics. But I will tell you, being a shipped shopper before and again, getting activated, doing my first batch on Instacart, really regardless, I would really look at, of course, the destination. How far are these grocery stores from my current location? And then number two, really one of the most important things with these on-demand grocery apps is the number of items. So look at the pay, look at the items, because obviously you don't want to be shopping for an hour for a ton of items for not a lot of pay. Now you can get tips as well as a shopper, which is nice. And I really would invest in good customer service. That's good communication with the customer if need be, any product substitutions or availability. And for this especially, if you're doing any grocery service apps, I would pick up at least two to three hot and cold bags. And ideally, I would get that catering bag. From my experience at least, you're gonna have some larger grocery shops, maybe 40 items, 60 items, and I just think it looks better whenever you're prepared, especially making that delivery to the customer's address and you have the cold items in, let's say, a catering bag. I'm also curious how that new feature is gonna work. Is it better with the going online and going offline versus just generally seeing any available batches? And I do wanna hear your questions down below in the comments as well. Are you signing up? Are you signing up for Shipped first? Are you signing up for Instacart? or any other questions that you have in getting started as a full service shopper, let me know down below in the comments. If you got value in this video, definitely drop me a like, and you can also click or tap the screen here for my newest video, as well as a video recommended for you, and I'll see you in the next one.